10 years ago, New York Times bestseller, The Fifth Beatle, The Brian Epstein Story was released. And in honor of the book's 10th anniversary, which has been re-released today, author Vivek Tiwari joins us now. Vivek, thank you so much for taking a couple minutes. Um, Thanks for having me. It's nice to see you. Before you wrote this book, did you know anything about Brian Epstein? No, it was really the research uh, on Brian uh, being fascinated by the Beatles, lifelong Beatles fan, uh, and wanting to learn more about their story. How did he engineer Beatlemania and bring the world the Beatles? But when I was doing that research, I found out that he was gay and Jewish and from Liverpool and 26 years old when he first discovered the Beatles. So tremendous obstacles against him. And while I would never claim to have those obstacles in my life, being a first generation American, my parents were immigrants originally from India, I could really relate to being the ultimate outsider. So I thought if the gay Jewish kid from Liverpool could bring the world the Beatles, why couldn't a weirdo Indian kid growing up on the Lower East Side, you know, write graphic novels and produce Broadway musicals, which is something else I do. So that's, and, that's how I came to it. So he really was kind of the, the hidden force behind the Beatles. What, What's the biggest thing he did to sort of catapult them to international sensation? Well, I would say that his two most important qualities uh, were not really business qualities. They were faith, vision, and love. You know, he, he, as a gay man, I think when he first heard the Beatles, he heard a great message of love and belonging, which, again, in 1961 Liverpool, where being gay was a felony, to feel like he belonged and had a sense of love was really resonant for him. And he believed that with his help, they could spread that message all over the world. And so I think that was actually his core trait as a manager, his belief that that message was important and if polished and presented in the right way, could be heard all over the world. Now, he also did lots of uh, simply amazing business things like convincing Ed Sullivan to book the band in the US when a British band had never made an impact over here, convincing the record label to sign them when, a Brit when everyone in the UK had turned them down, and so on. So he did both the sort of traditional music industry manager things as well as just having this deep faith and love and vision that the band would, would be around. He believed they would be here hundreds of years after they were a band, so. And we're still listening to their music today, which I guess speaks to his vision and uh, his, his, his foresight. Let's talk about the, the 10th anniversary edition of your book. What's special about that? So the thing that I'm most excited about this book is uh, not unlike the new Beatles track that, we, that has just been released that used new technology to make that happen, we've uh, also been incorporating new technology. This book comes with a QR code at the front that allows you to access a playlist or a soundtrack so that you can literally hear the music that was in my head as we wrote the book, something we couldn't have done 10 years ago. Um, so that I'm really proud of. There's also a new introduction by legendary music manager, Kelly Curtis, who managed Pearl Jam, and who was also, uh, a, a Brian was a huge, Brian Epstein was a huge inspiration to him. There's a new cover, there's new sketchbook sections, there's a lot of really fun and interesting things about this new edition. And Vivek, in our last few seconds, what, what do you think Epstein's legacy should be, if you could sum it up in a couple words? I, his story is an inspiring human story. The heart of it is that no dream is too impossible and no person too unlikely to realize that dream. That's the Brian Epstein story, and I think in some ways that's the heart of the Beatles as well. Mm. So if I can leave anyone with anything, that, that's what it should be, and that's what I hope this book gets across. The Beatles story as well as an international and very American story as well. Thank you so much for joining us. The author of The Fifth Beatle, The Brian Epstein Story, Vivek Tawari. And Mike Woods is back after this with his full forecast. Every morning.